Welcome back to Elden Ring. The last episode we finished up with the capital for now. And now I'm going to go back to Kaled and do the part of Kaled that we haven't explored yet. Before that, though, I have a couple levels to spend. Um, the reason for that is because off camera, I helped a bunch of people um, with like summon signs, helped them defeat that blood omen, whatever their name was, down in the abyss in the capital. I think I helped like four or five and ended up at 200,000 runes. Let's get one of mind and one of vigor. So yeah, up here in Kaled, we haven't explored this whole area. Uh, up here is where we teleport to to get to the Bestial Sanctum, but I haven't actually explored any of the parts outside of the Sanctum. I think the last thing we found up here was the Celia Hideaway, which I just came out of. I don't think I really went further than that. Yeah, down there is the Church of the Plague. Where we help that person. There's a stone thing over there. Hold on, what is this? I feel like we did explore this uh, over at this side, I think. I guess these are just pillars. Oh. Yeah, nothing really to it. And then that overlooks the battleground for the Radon fight. Right. Oops. I think to get further up here, I think we have to jump up this. Grail's Dragon Barrow. There's a dragon. Why is it half dead already? Oh, that's woken him up. Now their eyes are glowing red. Oh no. There's a castle up there. <laughs> I've been playing another game where the button to sprint is the button that I keep pressing here to jump off the horse like that. That's why I keep doing it. Sorry, bet. Oh, we're probably getting closer, possibly very close to where that painting was taken. Taken. Painting was painted. Um, maybe over here? Not sure exactly. Wait, what are you? Kind of looks like a bat mom, but it has, it's wearing different clothes. Oh no. You have some very fancy jewelry on. 
dropping some cool magic. Oh, my ratio of FP to Crimson healing potions is totally messed up because of when I was helping other people. Yeah, I have mostly FP. Whoops. Change my flask ratio. Time for throwing. Fort Faroth. Faroth. Shit, I'm poisoned. There's another mother. There's another one. The other part of the deck is medallion.
Can we combine them ourselves? I guess not. I really don't know if we need that, though, because we already found another way that gets around the Dectus lift. But I haven't actually tried the Dectus lift. I just found the Sight of Grace there and then never went any further. So what the heck is actually here? Let's just look. We have a minor Erd tree. Maybe a... Uh, that might be one of those mage towers that have memory stones. There's a dragon there. And that's the bestial sanctum. Defeating one-on-one -on -one required a head. Defeating what, though? I don't see anything. I'm trying to target lock even, and I can't lock anything. What's here? Huh? Oh! This might be a good use for ambush shards. Yeah, that just falls back where we came from. Right, I have freezing mist. I think it might be better just to use normal magic instead of the ambush shard. It's cheaper. The ladder down. giant rat in there. Is that 
The wall looks awfully weak. They all do, actually. Radigan's sore seal. Some lotion for achy joints. We have the scar seal. What's the sore seal? Greatly raises attributes, but also increases damage taken. Well, it doesn't say greatly increase damage taken. Does that mean it's just better? So is that just a better version of the one I already have? So Vigor goes up two more. Endurance goes up two more. Strength goes up two more. Dex goes up two more. Yeah, if that doesn't also increase the damage that I take, then that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. If it does increase the damage I take, well, it's still really good, I'm pretty sure, because this one was really good. I mean, it gives me 70... For 74 more hit points, so it would have to increase the damage I take by quite a bit to negate that. Yeah, let's replace it. What did this one do? That increases my mind by 3, my int by 3, and my faith in arcane, which is irrelevant, but yeah, basically 3 int and 3 mind is what that gives me. I could... Ah, okay, they prevent you from using the Scar Seal and the Sore Seal at the same time. Fair enough. I was looking again at uh, Marika's Scar Seal. And so what it does is increases my Int, Mind, Faith, and Arcane by three. The Mind and Int are nice. The Faith and Arcane are completely irrelevant for me. But it also increases damage taken, not by that much, but given that it's only helping Int and Mind, it's not nearly as good as Radigan's Scar Seal was, or now the Source Seal, of course. So I was looking at replacing that, and I think I actually want to replace it with Erdtree's Favor plus one. So this isn't going to hurt anything, it's only going to help. Uh, it's going to give me more hit points, a bit more equip load, and significantly more stamina, nine more stamina. It's really a toss-up. There were quite a few that I was thinking of maybe going with. Like, this raises intelligence by five. But, hmm. No, nah, let's go with this. But that's going to be a very, hmm, like a loose one. Like, uh, I'm going to feel free to change that slot out as needed. Like, if I need five more decks to use a weapon or something, then I can just go with this. Oh, I have enough runes to level up. Since I gave up some mind, let's get more mind. Want my FP back. Oh yeah, and I need to find the place where that painting was painted. I think we're... Uh, oh yeah, directly beneath me. Those pillars you see just down there are the ones that were painted. So actually, I think we're still, like... Yeah, I think it was painted... over there. Probably down that lower spot. Hmm. 
Let's go over there first. To the... <laughs> no, not that. To the minor Erd tree. I'm like, go fast, jumps off my horse. This place is stressful. Environmentally, there's lightning, there's... Well, dragons aren't environment, but there's dragons, there's wind, there's rain. Opaline hard tier. Stone barb cracked tier. Ooh, I want to know what those do. Ah, no, don't do that. Damn you, Jedi Fallen Order, for putting that in my muscle memory. No, I don't think jumping off is a good idea. One of the sprouters. Sprout for me. Ah, this one doesn't want to. Oh, where did they all come from? Guardian's sword spear. So is it a spear or a sword? The weapon type will tell us truly what it actually is at heart. It's a halberd. <laughs> 17 strength, 16 dex. Weapon comprising a long handle and broad blade sharpened from the hard wood of old trees. Wielded by guardians of the minor earth trees known as experts in the arts of combat. The power of this weapon scales greatly with dexterity. Ooh. Hmm. My dex skill's really not that good though. I'm so I have so much more int. 30 dex, 60 int. Hmm. 
Oh, you can change the weapon art type, though, which means I could probably make it both dex and int. Yeah, just one more strength to be able to wield it one-handed. That is intriguing. I'm going to try to remember. Actually, the best way to remember it is to just equip it so it annoys me. This place is very vertical. Oh, more defenders. Oh, that's where they're coming from, under the ground. Oh, did it just sprout? Oh, it didn't. I better be fast. Set a grace down there. Can already get another level up. another strength. So now I can wield that thing one-handed. Right. Yes. Oh, it's pretty. Weighty. What's the special? I like spinning slash or something. Oh, you can chain it. You can do one spin and then that like extra spin and thwop. So like one and then two. Of course it's going to be terrible right now, unupgraded. 
Try Spirit Spring. Horse required ahead. Lene's Rise. Oh, yeah, this one doesn't have... It doesn't have one of those little, like, kill the wise things. That was here, I guess. This little book and everything, but it's broken. Hmm. Oh! I see why there's so many bloodstains. Oh, yeah, this works. Um. Is this actually how you're supposed to do it? Key ahead. They're pointing forwards and down? Oh! Oh, I see! Thank you. Time for rolling. Yes, it is. Oh, one of you. Hmm. Eighty six. That does more, but it costs more. I guess these are all the same damage type, aren't they? I guess I could freeze it. Let's see if it's even susceptible to freezing. Uh, I think that's a no. Let's try this. these stones. The first off legs. What? don't need more spell slots.
I think I'll just teleport down quicker. Safer. Okay. We fell down from up here, but there's also this lower pathway. And then there's just straight ahead. Let's just go straight ahead. And by straight ahead, I mean kind of straight. Serpentine. Ooh, that's a Seek Knight. Try Poison. Ah, oh, yes, there's another horse rider. Ah, uh, okay, great glenstone shard. Need more range. Yeah, I need to wait till they're like coming str whoop, straight towards me. Oh, that hurts. That doesn't really work. Dodging's not the problem. Hmm. I think on foot might be better. Yeah. Ash of War Bloodhound's Step. Bloodhound's Step. Is that like Quick Step, but a variant of it or something? No, Ash of War Bloodhound's Step, usable on all melee armaments. And it's a keen type. So yeah, it is made for Dex. Grants an arm, uh -huh. Bloodhound Step, skill that allows the user to become temporarily invisible while dodging at a high speed, moves faster and travels farther than a regular quick step. This skill can be used to circle around lock on targets. Yeah, so it is like an improved version of quick step. Okay, because I was never impressed with quick step, but 
This sounds... cooler. Let's actually take this opportunity to... go upgrade that new weapon we have. And then also, I guess I'll put the Bloodhound Step on it. Upgrade to the Guardian's Sword Spear to plus six, which is actually really bad. I don't have any more um, chunks that are three tier, unfortunately. And I can't buy any, not yet. So it's probably still going to be pretty bad, but anyway. Um, I did make it keen, so now it scales B with Dex, and also put on the Quick Step, or the Bloodhound Step, rather. So let's see what that does. Oh, that goes much further than Quick Step. Yes. Yeah, this weapon is going to be terrible at only plus six, though. Like, it's going to be so bad. There's there's really no point in using that until I can upgrade it further. Across the bridge. Towards the Beast Shield Sanctum. Oh, there's a dragon up there. Wait, there are messages. Try jumping off. No. Oh, oh, there's traps all over here. a huge waterfall. Okay, let's see if there's anything up here other than the Beast Shield Sanctum. Doesn't seem like it. Just a lot of nasty little bastards and weird, creepy fossils. Okay, hold on. There does actually seem to be something down here. Death ahead, don't you dare. Oh, is this leading to nothing? I don't see any messages down there. Which makes me think, yeah, I think this is just death. No? Not yet, anyway. But why are there no messages here? Surely I'm just going to hit a death plane, right? Right? Wait, no, I see a message down there. Hold on, there's messages. <gasps> it is possible. Oh my god.
It almost feels like you're not meant to be down here. Almost. Just because of how awkward it was, but... Is there anything actually down here? Whoa, I saw a bat down below. Pickle. Wow, thanks. Yeah, I don't... I don't know about this. Eh. 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 Okay. Just want to make sure there's no items up here. Although it does seem like we're meant to just fall down further. Well done. Thank you. We can fall down even further. It says here. Yeah, I think you're meant to just keep going down. Stay calm. <laughs> if only I had a ladder. Where's my cotton? Oh no! <laughs> Haven't dropped down to the level where my souls are just yet, because I don't know if I can survive jumping down from there. I might have to abandon those souls, we'll see. Yeah, there's even soft cotton here. And there's something... Right down there. Something special. But let me just go all the way around and see if there's some special way to get down. I don't see one. Like, they all look the same. I guess I'll try again for where my souls are. 
guess if I fall on the rocks, it'll be better. Yes! Whew! I can hear the waterfall. Ooh, it's a unique weapon, Cincada. It's a dagger. This takes 10 strength, 10 dex. Has quick step on it. Short sword given to a high-ranking clergyman of Farum Azula raises potency of bestial incantations. The design celebrates a beast's five fingers, symbolic of the intelligence once granted upon their kind. Yeah, raises potency of bestial incantations. Be interesting to play a, like, beast build, I guess. It's very neat looking. The ability being just quick step though kind of sucks. Can't change that. Wonder how much it raises potency. It looks really cool. Dragoncrest Shield Talisman. Boosts physical damage negation. Well, that's the majority of damage you take, I guess. Oh, is there more down here? Bird's eye, visions of bird's eye telescope. I guess I could go down another level. Oh, but there's nothing below that. I'll just double check. Oh. Okay. It's just a death plane. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm not getting my souls. Those can stay there. I looked it up on the wiki, and the talisman decreases your physical damage by 10%, which is actually pretty dang good, so I'm wearing it now. Instead of the Urtree's favor plus one. Golden seed on the way to the front door. Oh, when I was getting back to try to get my souls the last time, by the way, I found out that this does actually try to attack you. I guess you just need to be really far in front of it. So yeah, I think I should actually try to fight it. Let's try it on horseback. Yeah! Yeah! I'm gonna go with Comet. Yeah. 
Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Looking at the new tiers that we got, see if they could help us. So I think one of them was Stone Barb Crack tier. Makes attacks more likely to break enemy stances in a mixed physic. Some more poise damage. Don't think that'd be useful here, but that could definitely be useful in a lot of places. Against most, most things that aren't giants, I feel like. And the other one is Opaline Hard tier. Temporarily boosts all damage negation. That sounds really good. I'm going to replace my heal over time with that. It's also just super pretty. Hey, it gives me a bubble. Yeah, pretty sure that would have killed me. Yeah, got it. Gargoyle's Black Blade and Halberd. God, I love that comet. It is so powerful. Hope that doesn't change how Gronk feels about me. I don't know how they felt about their front door guard. <laughs> hey. Well, they're not attacking me on sight, so... Yeah, we seem fine. Let's spend our level on decks. And then explore this lower layer coming from Linnea's Rise. Whoa, okay. Don't see any of those summoning. Oh. Bye. You're going to keep spawning though, aren't you? Maybe not. Oh, don't mean to be using Comet. Oh, time for joy in short bird.
That's a normal bear. Yes, normal bear. That is not a normal bear. That is an abnormal one. They seem to have somewhere to be. That was weird. Oh, hey, dear. This place is just filled with wildlife. Bull Goat's Talisman. Raises poise. Oh yeah, it actually shows my poise, so I can actually see how much it raises it by. From 18 to 24. Bull goats are associated with the stout and mighty Tregoth, said to be unflinching in combat. Now a silent comrade to those who fight. <laughs> no secret, but well done. Oh, look at that face. What a beauty. Wait, there seems to be a little side way to go. Maybe? So that goes back to where we came from, but if you just hook a right, where does this go?
Oh, we'll see. What is that? We saw one of those in one of the places we teleported to, I, I think. Maybe? Yeah. They were super, super hard. One of the places we teleported to at the, um, the four belfries. Ah, shit. Oh. The other one didn't even notice I did any of that. Wow. Drake Talisman plus two. It really does look like it could be a hidden path. Mildly suspicious. Let's get another point of dex. Let's explore more out here.
Oh, I broke their poise. I think the big dragon was somewhere up here. I'm a pretty good dragon slayer. Ah, yeah, there it is. Yeah, it is alive. Seems like I might be injured, though. Wow, it's really, it's like almost dead, I think. I think each, is each one, each one of the like smaller ones that I'm killing taking out health from the big one? Is that what's happening? Can I even damage you? Uh, well, displayed a number. I think I did see the bar go down. Yeah, it did go down, but... Huh. God, I feel bad for that thing. Let me kill more of the ones around it and see if that... is more effective. Though I'm almost out of FP. That didn't give me back anything. Is 
That's all my FP. Yeah, that is definitely taking health away from... Yeah. Five dragon hearts? Did that kill all the smaller ones as well? Poor thing. Regret, yeah. Well, at least this place is a lot more peaceful. Okay, so it didn't kill all the dragons, just the ones that were like, I don't know, sharing its life force or something? Giving it life force? The ones with red eyes? Be wary of dragon. Ah, oh, peace. No more rain, no more wind. Where's the so called dragon? Supposed dragon. Climb up this route. Ooh. I don't think this is going anywhere. How about the upper part of the tower? Ooh.
How do you even get inside this tower? Oh, on the roots. And there's a ladder. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. I think I could probably make that. Oh yeah, there's notes there. Kind of doubt there's anything actually there. Ah, there's notes everywhere. Yeah, there's probably nothing actually there. Perfect. No item ahead. Wait, how do we actually get down to the ladder that's just beneath me? Uh... uh <laughs> I could... No, I can't... Well, yeah, I could fall there if I then use my horse. I... Yeah, good. Let's just see what's here. Whew. Whew. Dead end ahead, not here. Okay. What about this way? I mean, there's a ladder here. Beware of enemy. 
where we have cramped area, try luring out. There's already a dead body here. Did I already kill them? I'm so confused. Okay, this is where I go. Ah, oh, yes. Before I actually go up, I guess, let's see what the heck is down here. Nice. Okay, let's go up then. Radon's Great Rune. Well, I'll check that at the next Divine uh, Site of Grace. What's the view like from up here? Oh, that's where the giant pot is. Hazy. So, Radon's Great Rune raises maximum HP, FP, and stamina. Hmm. So, Godric's Rune effectively does that because it raises all attributes, which of course end up governing HP, FP, and stamina, and more. So I have to assume that this probably raises those more. Let's use it. Let's see. So right now... My HP is 1476. Let's just go with that. HP 1476, stamina 115. 1476, 115. 1476, 1697. Okay. Yeah, that went up a lot. 1697. Can I stay runed up and just switch my rune out to see the effects of the other one? The current rune's effect will be removed. Is that okay? Yes. Is that also... I think that means I'm not going to stay runed up. Yeah, I'm not runed up anymore. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I don't really feel any differently about that one versus Godric's. I guess I'll use it just because it's new. I don't know. Sure. Oh, yeah, we have enough to level up. I am trying to get to moon magic. So, let's go int. Need 70. How many... How much int do I have with all my other things? Oh, right, I got rid of the int increasing thing, so I just have my base int. 61. There is something I can use to increase it by 5, but that would not be enough to get me to 70. Still out of reach for the moment. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode there, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to explore this part of Kaelid. <laughs>